Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I'm so glad you're here with me as I just give you another talking video all about my branding and my website and just a, a bit of photography talk. So I'm gonna to try to wrap this all up into this one video. I hope I can stay on task. I don't have notes. I'm not one to take notes. I'm not one to follow a script and I really probably ought to. <laughs> I have really struggled trying to figure out how I'm going to give you all the information I want to give you in a way that's not so convoluted that you can't keep up. <laughs> it's just me, guys. <laughs> you get what you get when you when you uh, stop by my channel. And speaking of stopping by, thanks for that. I really do appreciate that you're here. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tammy. I own a small bath and body company in Indiana. And uh, I want to say for you guys, I just want to point this out real quick before we get started that I do get comments from you all that just share with me that you you feel like it's just when when you listen to me or you watch one of my videos it's like sitting down with a friend and having having a laugh with a friend one or two of you call it Tammy time <laughs> I think that's so cute <laughs> I just want to say I feel the same way I absolutely feel the same way even though I'm talking to this little camera in my mind, I'm talking to you guys, and I just want to thank you for sharing that with me, and thank you for for being that for me as well. That's just, that's us, right? That's how we are together. So I appreciate you, and I want to just point that out and acknowledge you guys, and, and thank you for that as well, because it does, it does feel that way for me too. Anyway, let's try to stay on focus. I'm going to try to focus, guys. So here's the thing. I changed my branding, you all know that. I changed my color scheme, you all know that. Um, how that came about, let's talk about my color scheme really quickly so I can, I can share how I came up with those particular colors. So last year, the Soap Challenge Club had a challenge of uh, like plaid, like the plaid challenge. I didn't do it. <laughs> I, like, at the beginning of the month, I always have these grand plans for I'm going to do this one and then I never do. I was looking on Google for plaid designs for inspiration and I came across one that was green and coral or a teal and coral. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I want to do that in a soap. Well, it never happened, but I did just keep coming back to those colors. and. It dawned on me that I was really being drawn to this color scheme. And so then I'm thinking maybe I should do that as my new brand colors because I'm so sick of this pink. And then guys, my husband and I went shopping for area rugs in our home. And I don't know if you're familiar with Ollie's. It's O-L-L-I-E-S. It's brand new to Indiana. I don't know where it came from, but they're everywhere now. <laughs> but they have area rugs. So if you're ever in the need for an area rug, you live in the States and you know of Ollie's, go there because they're cheap and they're pretty decent in quality. But I was walking through this Ollie's and look what I found. Is The lighting is crap in here at night. Um, it's just a tablet, just a, like a little notebook. But look at those colors. I'm thinking, oh! <gasps> God's telling me to turn to the green and coral. It's a sign. <laughs> so I had to buy it. And then there was some time of second guessing and and maybe doing this color because this blue, I, I love so much this blue. This is the same blue that was in my soap studio. I was stuck on coral. I couldn't find a good coral to match this blue. I just kind of said, you know what? Your first instinct was to go to this like green and coral. It felt very, I loved this, the leaves in this. I loved just the vibe of this notebook so much. It's like, just stick with it. So then it became, I needed to give these colors to my uh, graphic designer that was updating my, my logo. And I found this on Canva. I had no idea they did this. So Canva has a color palette. I didn't know if you knew this or not. It's a palette generator. So I just Googled Canva color palette and it'll come up, but I'll try to link this in the, the description. You can upload an image and it will help you pick the colors out of that image. Or like this, you look at all these palettes that you can come up with and you can explore so this is what I did. I did, um, I think I did coral 
and I just found the color palette that worked for me and I think it yes it was this one Francis San Francisco clouded color combination so that is my color palette and that's how I came up with it uh, they also have a color wheel and this is what I was doing when I was trying to match a coral to this blue I found the hex code for it and I was able to put in um, the hex code and then it you can do monochromatic you can do the try how do you say that tetradatic I don't know how to say words <laughs> so this is just what I was playing with I played on Canva and I chose the Canva palette and that's how I came up with my color palette and I was able to give those hex codes to my graphic designer done awesome let's move on let's talk about photography for a second too guys my photography for product photos let's be real it sucked it sucked so I have been almost next month will be seven years for me guys and probably the first two years I didn't really mess with product photography much at all I would I would post a few things on Facebook once in a while that was it then I I had an Etsy store I I think I was like two and a half, two to two and a half years in oh hang on taping and baking probably not the best thing for me <laughs> where was I okay so two two and a half years in I got my Etsy store it was horrible I didn't make a lot of sales my photos weren't good and it was really difficult and it is very difficult to be active on social media when you feel like your photography is just crap you know if your pictures are just crap it's really difficult to to get excited about putting anything out there I'm still not very good at the social media but it's you know I keep saying this year I'll do better so I want to share with you guys my photography <laughs> so this is a bar of white tea this is something that I would have put out there on my website and I think it was on my website my soaps were three bars and they were positioned in one of three ways <laughs> with that backdrop on that board and that was my photos for everything uh let me find like this is not that long ago the sea salt and orchid is that scrub i called it a body body polish I had to stop calling it that because everybody was confused so i just call it a body scrub now that was not that long ago guys that was my that was my picture now today this is my sea salt and orchid scrub today is it great no but it's a far sight better than where it was right it's much better than where it was uh this is my white tea today so let's look at white tea one more time that was the one time and then this is current white tea I think that's cute a couple years ago I decided I really needed to make more of an effort on my photography I thought I had a picture of my I guess I don't I, I was pulling some of these pictures but okay I needed props okay <laughs> I put a pe I put a soap on a soap dish and call it a day and it would be that was the only prop was a soap dish and then I thought oh I need I need a washcloth in there so enter a washcloth <laughs> and that was it <laughs> so then I last year I did invest in replica surfaces and let's see if I have I, I thought I had all of this pulled oh okay so like so here so when I first got my replica surfaces this would be my cream basically nothing different <laughs> than I had done before other than a pretty background you know that was that was my cream after replica surfaces do I have a cream today I do that was pink quartz cream this is today's so much much better I just want to say I did I did a review on the replica surfaces and I will link that above they uh, put out a call for ambassadors and I'm thinking heck yeah I'll do it I submitted my application to be an ambassador they accepted I was an ambassador for about three months <laughs> three months guys I'm sorry I I left it I have no problem 
with that company. I don't have any ill will towards them. I still like the surfaces, but that ambassadorship was not for me. And I just emailed them and said, you know what? I think I'm going to bow out of this. <laughs> and they said they were like, okay, good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm making a baked oatmeal with banana and blueberry. It smells so good. I watched Taste Made. I, it, I don't know. It's Struggle Mills. Struggle Mills on Taste Made. It's his recipe. If you're familiar, let me know. <laughs> the short time that I was an ambassador, they emailed us and said, hey, is there any, this is new for us. It's new for you. What would you like to see? And I emailed them and I said, I, I would love to have some sort of ability to do the course, the photo course whether it would be free or a discount or something, anything you can do about that photo course because there's no way I'm paying for it, <laughs> not full price. And so I was gifted a module of the course. I chose the composition module. So here's the thing. I spent more time on that course more than any other course I've ever purchased. So I did the bath bomb course once. I've done... I've done a couple different little things like this, you know, but I've never spent the amount of time on a course that I did on that one. And I probably spent six hard weeks on that course. And I went through all the homework crap that they love to give you on those things. I did it all and I put my heart into it and it helped. Did I learn anything that was like earth shattering? I don't think so, but I, I think that when you immerse yourself in something so often, it will just click and eventually it will click. Although my bath bombs are not the greatest, when I took that course that I paid for, something just clicked and I was able to produce a really good bath bomb. Not a great bath bomb, not the bath bomb that I want, but a good bath bomb, solid, nothing to be ashamed about, bath bomb. I didn't learn anything earth shattering in that course either. It was just, I just, after so much time, it's just got to click. <laughs> and I really do think that, although I did learn things, I'm not saying I didn't learn from that course. I did. I think just something just clicked. And although I still struggle with my photos, I feel proud of my photos where I had not done before. Examples. Here's one that I'm not super proud of. I feel this is too dark and it's got like this blue overtone to it that I don't like, but it's a photo on my website. <laughs> I really like my pumpkin. So here's my first pumpkin. So gosh, guys, one of three, one of three. That was it. Uh, but here's my pumpkin, cranberry pumpkin. Here it is from this fall. There's one. I think I did good. I'm really proud of my pumpkin, cranberry pumpkin soap. I thought I did really good. Let me show you. There's another image of that. I thought that was pretty. I am improving. I'm not great, but I am definitely improving. And I really liked this one too. I'm, I'm trying not to brag, but I really liked that one a lot. It's just all my sugar scrubs. And I thought, I just really proud of this one. <laughs> In the midst of doing all of this with the replica services and taking that uh, course that I did and just trying to really focus on my photography, I realized that I would really like to upgrade my website. And I knew that until my photography was where I wanted it to be, it wasn't worth it for me to upgrade my website because it is going to cost me money to upgrade. By the time you see this, it will be live. I ended up paying for a theme. I have Shopify as my host and you have free themes and my free theme has been great. I have no problems with it. It just doesn't do everything that I want it to do. And I feel like, I don't know if I've heard this before or if it's just something I made up and I just believe, or if maybe I've heard it before. I really don't know, guys. My memory is not what it used to be. But I feel like the more enjoyable your website is, the easier it is to be on, the more apt people will be on it for longer. The longer someone's on your website, 
the more apt they are to buy or the more apt they are to buy more. That's just what I think. And I don't know if I've heard that before. I mean, probably. Do I have any original thoughts? I mean, maybe. <laughs> but that's my thinking. It's like, it is an investment to pay for a theme, but it's pretty slick. I like it. It's not the most expensive theme. Um, it took me a solid month uh, just to choose the theme. <laughs> and one of the biggest hurdles I've had with changing my theme is the photography. Not my product photography not, or pictures, but any of the extras, the like banners or the collection pages or any of those extras that you put on your website. The, the images were very like cropped and zoomed in weirdly and I struggled so hard and I probably spent at least, at least six weeks fighting these images at least but I'm having a sale a sale for my new website is 15% off your entire order I'm going to try to post this so people can get on there and get 15% if you want to purchase from me that'd be awesome thank you for those uh but one of the things I want to do is have something every single month uh a, a new a different like sale or a different freebie or a different surprise or something for me to start garnering emails and having somewhat of an email presence even if it's just once a month which is probably plenty that's going to give me an excuse to get those emails out and start focusing on sales and start focusing on building up that revenue on my website so guys, that's it. If you want to check out my website, it will be linked down below as it usually is. But give me some feedback. I would love that. I would love to hear your feedback. I've worked really, really hard and diligently on this website. And I know there's some things I want to improve upon. I know there's things I want to do that's not quite, I can't seem to get there. Uh, but if I waited until it was 100% perfect, I would never launch this thing. And I'm already two weeks behind launching where I want it. Um, so anyway, check it out if you would and give me some feedback. I would love that. And I will just catch you guys in the next video, whatever that may be. Thumbs up if you liked it, guys. Thumbs down if you hated it. Like, subscribe, and please stay tuned for the next one. Bye.